done it. He's done it after after 40 years. His audio is finally fixed. Get ready to the... Ready? 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 Listen. Listen. You hear that? You don't. Exactly. No noise. No background noise. No static. No fucking... Constantly, whenever I open my damn mouth. Well, until we pan over here. Because we're being raided by my good friends in Division 4. Or maybe it is IV, which would be very strange. Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm just beginning to... uh. I'm just beginning to soak this up. I'm just beginning to slurp this down. There's uh, just all sorts of laser SMG, void wearing, shield wearing, charge minigun wielding animals. Animals on my front lawn. There's also a scyther, a dagger snout, and whatever the hell this goddamn thing is here. Hello? Alpha. Alpha animals mechanoid. What? Wait a second. Hmm. 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 Anyway, hello. Welcome to Rimworld. Today, uh, I have something planned that is going to break my little heart when we try and do it. But uh, this is unlearning the habit of a lifetime uh, because people keep complaining in the comment section about how uh, how I do things here. So I'm going to do things your way uh, so that eventually you can just stop watching entirely because I play exactly like you. Let's get into defensive positions first and foremost. And let's... Kill us some ultra tech. To be fair, we are probably kind of ultra tech level technology, if not even slightly beyond that at this point. A little bit concerned about the void armor. They all die the same. Hey, okay. Let, no, no, no. Let me aim it. Let me aim it. You can't be fucking trusted. Let's go like, um, let's go like here. Let's go like here. Let's go like there. That's still okay. That's still okay. It's still okay. That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay. It's not phenomenal, but I'll let her keep firing. We only got one shell left anyway. What the fuck are these bullets they've got sending in? Something's making a, a a large a large loud noise and it's doing me a bit of a concern. Six, four, three, two, hoddle, hoddle, and uh, oh god, where are they all bunched up? Fucking nowhere. I mean, still firing there is kind of the epicenter of everything, so you're more likely to hit fucking something, huh? Go. Okay, now you get into position uh, anywhere, really. Go there. What's that gonna hit? I've got... No, 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 no. No, stop. Don't have to censor that. What? You can't kill two instantly. Oh, fuck right off. What are you talking about? The words by Mr. Mosin as well, if I'm not mistaken, had a void helmet. Like the strongest helmet we've got in this fucking mod pack. Oh my god. And then we've got R. Daniel Oliver, also dead. Uh, missed unspoken and hit him with an antimatter charge. Where? Uh, hit him in the torso. That one I can forgive because he was only wearing a flak vest. And a flak jacket. And an exoskeleton frame. A marine gloves and flak pants and a heavy marine helmet. So he was, he was barely wearing any armor at all. <laughs> 200% sharp coverage and you fucking instantly kill him. We're doing okay, though. We're do Look, did you see that? A single shot just destroyed that fucking barricade. My god, when they come in range, it is just a... It is just a hammering. Oh, get that! Uh. Armor's gone. These guns are too strong. I was just laughing at this person's name is Yoda. Hmm. <laughs> Here for your ketamine, I am. This is the fucking worst meme. Uh, they're not really doing much, though, are they? They are genuinely just kind of hanging around, which is a bit strange. Let's take you guys and move you down here. Maybe I should just have like sniper rifles dotted along here. Like shelves with just one sniper on each. Because this is insane. Stick to cover and just move in. Okay, okay, here we are. Here we are. Black Ops squad. Go, 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 go. Good shot, good shot. Watch out for Smooth. He's got that, it's got that antimatter rifle. Bring him down. Bring down Smooth. Okay, good shit, good shit, good shit. Right, let's head over here. What? Like, some of them just aren't even fucking attacking us. Like, what are they doing? This is, this is the strangest shit I've ever seen. Black Ops Squad was the best idea I've ever had. Look at them go. Look at them go. Watch out for the Scyther. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Get behind some cover. Good shit, good shit. Knock it, knock it, knock it. Oh, I was hoping we'd get a new toy out of that one. That's a shame. Okay, okay, okay. How are we looking? Just fucking retreat, you weirdos. Only one solution. 
I don't know what's fucking search and destroy. Robot child, rescue Sorsha. No, no, no. Uh, stabilize Sorsha here. Look, there's plenty of glossable medicine around. Oh, wait. Stabilize Keg Denter. Go, rescue him. Save this man's life. Monkey the male woman. Is she any good? Drunken master, absent minded. 14 medical to make up for Mose in the vet getting peppered. Yes. Stabilize. Okay, got him. One hour. Come on. Tidy him up. One hour. Tidy him up. Please tidy him up. There's probably my charge lances. And then we're going to have to take a day off just to, uh, you know, just to just to chill out. Brilliant. Great work. Overall, an absolutely fantastic start to the episode. <laughs> uh, you having a fucking giggle, mate? Well, at least they're up there where I don't have to look at them. What are they doing? Sunblocker. Could not give a shit. Could not give a less of a shit. Fucking blot out the sun. See if I care. Oh. Well, that's... <laughs> oh, that is beyond fucking annoying, isn't it? For some reason, uh, I was zoomed in there. For no reason at all. I can't work out why. So my plan for today, which has become even more poignant now that we've lost two people, is something that, that shakes me down to my deepest of cause. Many people shout at me and scream at me for my work priorities. And I have, a, I have a very specific way that I do work priorities, right? I base it on survival. So which jobs are most important to our survival, which is why I'll always, for the most part, have harvesting and growing on top priority. Unless we have an abundance of food, like we do now, where I'll drop it down to maybe tier two. But I'll generally have everybody on growing, which we do right now. Cooking and butchering obviously come first too. The real essential stuff always goes at the very, very top for me. But then people get very angry because they're like, if you set everything to tier one, then nothing is tier one, which isn't obviously strictly true because it follows, you know, from here to here anyway. Uh, but I've decided let's not do that. There's an argument for both, right? With with my method, you're ensuring that people are never going to starve to death, that construction and shit, I always... Long story short, I just spent about 20 minutes redoing all of their work tab, and then I thought, my god, this is boring. So I'm just going to go over it super, super quickly, okay? So the badges now correlate to what they do. I've basically given everyone a primary job, a secondary job, and a catch-all job. In the case of some of them, I've just had to throw them at fucking whatever works. I'd say, for example, I've taken Thorgan off of cooking, even though they're super, super skilled in cooking. Otherwise, Pelvis Presley, uh, Pelvis Resley doesn't really have a job, right? So I've, I've kind of had to sort things out here. But Thorgan, mining, social, keg denser, plants, research, or intellectual. So that also includes drugs. Uh, Constantine is animals and building. Mondo is plants and crafting. Hauling, and, and the, the fire is smelting there for... For unspoken. Sans is crafting research or intellectual again, including drugs. Pelvis Presley, uh, Pelvis Presley, God, that's going to get me every time, is cooking, building. Sorsha is hauling, but that includes basic jobs like delivering, which is obviously way more important, and fishing. And Dr. Husky is mining fishing, but because mining is pretty much something they're always going to be doing, they're probably never going to do any fishing. Uh, basically, just to, again, try and maximize people in certain areas, really. If it doesn't work, now that I've wasted you know, 20 minutes of my life that I'm never going to get back. I live for, what, like, let's be honest, 60 years on this mortal earth, and you people have just wasted 20 minutes of that. In the whole history of time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, like that, lived for about two minutes after he entered my care. Jesus, really? 10 quality, 25%. Who the fuck tended that? Even our worst doctor has 10 medical. My God, what did you do? Just fucking rub dirt in it and say, there you go, good as new. Unbelievable. Well, we still got Monkey. Hello. Uh, and you were actually pretty good, right? Melee and Medical. Yeah, big fan of that. Academia. What does that do again? Intellectual Medical, Medical, 10 quality, 20%. It's pretty nice. Apparently, seeing as we've got a lack of fucking good doctors here. I want to get a mech control belt so we can use these mechanoids effectively. That's the one reason I didn't deploy them against Division H is because we haven't really got any good way to control them. We can we can send them in and let them go nuts, but chance are they just get annihilated. With a mech control belt, we can basically just kind of draft them up. Um, let's try control belt because I'm not sure. There it is. Mechanoid controller belt. Cool. So we need the mechanoid workshop. We've got nuclear power coming in next because I'll be honest, I am fucking sick of every two minutes having these bloody geothermal generators smashed to bits and then our power going off in the base. I want to make one of those hexagel generators too, but the blue gel is kind of slow. The bonus to the aero fleets is they do just kind of spawn in new ones. They just divide. So at some stage, we'll be able to get a shitload of them. I was thinking we could actually just build the generator right behind too for the quick fuel. I think you have to refine it down though. Make hexagel cores. 15 hexagel, 3 uranium. 
Fucking hell. So you need 100 blue gel to make hexagel, unless the output's more than one. It makes 20 hexagel. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I was going to say, that's really expensive otherwise. Um, so 100 blue gel for 20 hexagel. Okay. And then 15 hexagel on three uranium for, he for five hexagel cores. Don't know how long that'll keep it going. Um, ideally, we need to just kind of match the right amount of aero fleets to fuel just like a one generator. I'm not really bothered about having loads. It would just be nice to have different sources of power in case one goes out. Maybe this is, I don't know, solar flare proof, something like that. Also, these things, hexagel battery, can store more electricity than the blue gel batteries. This is a downside. They are highly flammable and will violently explode if destroyed, much like everything else I've ever built in RimWorld throughout the entire 2,300 hours I've played this freaking game. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's not a downside. I have a question. Why can't we put one aero fleet into the refinery and compress it down? into one hexagel that i want to see you breed aero fleets and you fucking just grind them up maybe it's well, maybe it's obviously less efficient in the long term because using a whole aero fleet for it but my god would that not be way more satisfying maybe you fuel the reactor directly with aero fleets just chuck them in there it is okay uh oh we've made a piano too fresh out of the furnace brilliant right let's get that shit installed what else do we need then at this stage uh the piano player faces away no, no, no. You want to face him that way. Otherwise, you know, it's better for acoustics. Well, this place is fucked for acoustics, given that you've lined it with cloth drape. That is why title Empress. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Okay, so now we can have the ceremony then, yeah? Uh, You need to clear the map of enemies of the Bestower faction. You mean the, the mechanoids? You're telling me I can't rank up because of the bloody mechanoids. God, Jesus, you people couldn't have landed any closer. Seven hours, four hours. Oh, hello. Okay. Uh, martial arts is fa fast walker, lush, depressive. Okay. Cooking of eight. Oh, I don't really need cooking. Conan Klein, perfectionist, big bone jogger. I don't think I want any of these people. I, I, I will admit, last time we did a big recruitment, I went too far down the, the way of, let's just take anybody on board, right? Replenish our numbers. Now we're kind of in a position where, I don't think I want all these shit people. Please. I just want to get my people out of the... <laughs> oh, God. Duh, ah, no. Eel. Hey, there we are. Right, right. F freedom. Okay, adjust the output. And then who else do we want? We want Mr. Mo... No, 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 no. Oh, God, please. Oh. Night, sweet prince. You served us well. But now you go into the freezer. The, the battery freezer. Okay, uh, how are we doing on blue gel? Oh, he just milked an aero fleet then. Ooh. Uh, how are we doing on that? 126. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We need that to... Hang on. And then compress. Do forever. I mean, is there anything else we're going to do with blue gel, realistically? And then make hexa gel do until, like, so we've got, like, one? How much do we need to fuel it? Zero out of 50. So, what is it like, uh... I mean, obviously, it puts out five cores, so I assume one core is one fuel? It could be quite expensive, but, I mean, it is free at the end of the day. Well, besides the food that you've been put into it. And our EMP launches are done. Hey! That could have been better timing. Uh, are they immediately smelting those down, though? Because I have a feeling I didn't actually... <laughs> oh, no. Uh, range weapons, E, 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 M, P, launcher is disallowed. Forward thinking for once in my life. Excellent work. Right, so let's get... Who do you want to quit with the EMP launchers? I mean, realistically, everyone could do with one as a sidearm. There's our hexagel cores. Okay, and then let's set you to... Hexagel core. How many do we need? Oh, maybe someone else has already reserved it and is already on it. Oh, no, he made the hexa gel. He didn't make the hexa gel core. Uh, shit a lot. No, no, who was... Oh, shit, under nine skill required. Bollocks. Um, I guess we'll just take any one of our crafters then. Robichow, can you do it? Not sent for refining. Brilliant. There you go. Oh, let's drop those on the floor. And then let's say just, uh, get shit a lot over here to refuel. Hey, look at that. I'm really interested to see how much power this thing will spit out. Because it might be a really, really nice backup for... We might even be able to remove those uh, those advanced geothermal generators because they're driving me a bit nuts. Oh, 2,500 watts. So that'll fucking do it. Oh, but it only lasts three days. Oh, yikes. Well, we're not going to be able to stay on top of that with the amount of air fleets that we've got, but we'll just let them we'll let them breed out, right? That's Maybe that's the point. You know, you make a, a really high output but really low duration power, and then you use those fancy batteries to store as much power as possible in the meantime. Uh, these things, though, do kind of scare me a bit. I, I kind of want to... You know, dig out some more mountain just to put those... Maybe, like, one battery in a room just to take the explosion if something does go wrong. Put them, like, all the way back here. Oh, yeah, but if an infestation comes in, we're fucked. Oh! Wait, poorly maintained. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you've got a... Oh, shit, I bet I, you have to set up a... A hack job, don't you? 
<laughs> like the rest of my channel. <laughs> uh, we've just got a... Oh! Sir! Destroy. Oh, God. Mechanoids versus... Just lock the fucking door. <laughs> lock the door. Let them kill one another. Go. Go. Please bring them down. Oh, God. This is chaos. I dread to think what that fucking siege breaker is going to do. Yeah, you guys just go about your life. Hi there. Hello. Got it. Oh, we lost it, though. It's dead. Damn, that's a shame. Okay, let's disable them from destroyment. Otherwise, they'll probably go out and fight that uh, mech cluster then. Oh, that's a real shame. Okay, well, my bad. But on the plus side, it could have been a siege breaker. And that would have been way, 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 way worse. Is your goddamn sweaty Rimworld. Devastating. Oh. <laughs> We've only got one. Oh, well, that's disappointing. That's ruined it. Okay, I mean, we could use antimatter sniper rifles, right? It's whatever's got high armor penetration that deals a shitload of damage. Antimaterial rifles could also work. What have we actually got here? Devastated sniper rifles, apparently loads. Oh, they're just lying around in the rain. Oh, well, fair enough then. My bad. All right, let's get those hauled as soon as possible. On a way to hot swap weapons, depending on what we're fighting, and I think this is the best way to do it. That way, when the mechanodes come close, we pause the game, we switch all of these to EMPs, they shoot out a bunch of EMP launchers, we grab them as fast as possible. To be fair, we can move them right behind the walls. The only reason I don't want to do that is because I don't want them catching fire. Because the last thing I want is them frantically extinguishing a weapon that they're trying to equip. Oh, it's gigantic. What the hell am I supposed to put this? I suppose we could get rid of, uh... We get rid of this one, will it fit? We get rid of that one, reinstall that one up there. Oh, you can't reinstall them. Barn! <laughs> What's this fancy menu it's got? It consumes six... What? <laughs> it's got its own fancy little menu there. Okay. Um, I want, like, two mechanoid control belts. What does it matter? Is it one person per mechanoid? Because if that's true, I think I'll need oh, uh, uh, roughly five. I think I need roughly five. Welcome, little monkey or ice wolf now. And I also renamed, uh, what were they called? Like unspeakable or something like that to Ghidorah or Jidorah or Ghidorah. I'm no, I've no idea. I've no idea, to be honest with you. So we've got four Devastator Sniper Rifles ready. I'm going to wait for them to finish off making these, making these belts. Then we're going to send in these boys first. We're going to follow it up with one, two, three. What? what? Where's that other... What are the other machine bits of constant... Where did my other... <laughs> my other mortar go? Okay. Well, one, two, three mortars firing EMPs. And then, hopefully, we can we can finish these guys off without getting anyone else killed. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to know what Robo Mummy's stash of goodies are. Ooh, mechanoids controlling mechanoids. Mecha droids controlling mechanoids. This is, this is high tier big brain stuff. Is he going to have to take off like his power armor or something? His jetpack. Uh, that's okay. I thought he would drop his exosuit, but that's, that's an okay trade, I think. And then we just activate it and then we pick up. Is that a fucking an NES controller? What the hell is that? I hope controlling mechanisms doesn't like make it so they're incapable of combat or something. Because if that's the case, then we are, we're doing a pretty bad trade here, aren't we? We'll have to test that out quickly. Shittlebot, awaken your brethren. Uh, they have to undraft and then you activate and then you go like, boop. Hello. Uh, can they draft up then? Oh, what a squad. Hey, this is great. I guess they have to stay within a certain range. It looks as if they are kind of tethered there. You see that? Oh, what a, what a team, huh? That just says someone is inspired taming. Look, this is the biggest brainiest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Thorgan, Worgen, Horgan. Oh, right. I've got to set Ice Wolf up. You fool. Uh, Thorgan, Thorgan, Thorgan. Uh, Handle. Handle? Training. No, 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 no. Training, training, training. Right. Go. Can I... Oh, you son of a... Okay. <laughs> oh, never mind. That's my big brain idea. Out the window. <laughs> it's nice to know I'm not wasting too much time on the... On the, uh, on the banal stuff. We cover this blood shrimp. Wild predator. I do like the idea of riding a moth into battle. There's something way cooler about that. Be my friend, moth. Moth. Be friends. Yes. Look at this. Okay. Uh, we, we can ride you into battle, right? I, st I still don't... We need, like, guard? Is it attack? And then you put down an animal mounting area, which... What did you have again? Drunken Master is, like, really good at combat, right? Yeah, there you are. They become more talented the more drunk they are. Absent-minded. That's quite annoying. Nimble. 
Melee dodge trunks. Oh, you might actually be a really good melee character. I might have to get you a Zeus hammer or something. Intellectual medical and medical 10 quality. Good shit. Well, I've got them set on that, and then I've got them as their backup jobs. Uh, we've got plants and mining for you. Hello, Moth. Uh, let's send you into... I guess we could put you in the Aero Fleet barn. Turrets have I got? We did, we've got, like, those fucking rocket turrets, didn't we? I mean, I don't see why I shouldn't build a couple of those. Why shouldn't I? Why shouldn't I keep it? Auto cannon turrets, too. Oh, shit, we can actually build a load of those. I feel like just putting some of these around would be an incredible... Like, little pillboxes again. Actually, to be fair, doing that with the rockets would be pretty fucking good, though. You know what? God damn it, I'm in. Mighty rocket pillboxes are going down. You're probably thinking, how on earth are you going to make so many high explosive shells when you haven't got any chem fuel? Feast your eyes on... Uh... <laughs> so, some, some, somewhere. On this, my friends, the chem fuel clarifier 2.0. Uh, it's not very impressive, to be honest, but there is quite a cool thing you can do. So, what I've got here is, uh, I-O ports, obviously outputting from our digital fridge storage unit, set to important. These are set to critical. Now, there's a cool thing where you can set it to urgent refill. What that means, as, as you can see it there, if any sellers are not about to be urgently refilled, that marks it as a, uh, as one of the hall plus jobs, right? That means that the second the chem fuel clarifier takes one of these bodies and turns it into chem fuel, whoever is marked on Hall Plus, in this case, Shittlebot, who has nothing better to do, or Sorsha, who has, well, nothing better to do, they'll dash over here and make sure it's fueled immediately. Now, I'm hoping when we get the, the pullers and pushers from Rim Factory Light, we can basically have it pull from here straight into there and then output chem fuel into the adjacent IO port because you can output into IO ports, you just can't pull from them. Uh, they do need these specific hoppers. So that is going to fuel all of our. Look, there it is. Right there, my friends, 45 chem fuel. And because that's now empty, <laughs> the fucking ground runner did it. So Digby, chicken Caesar, you war criminal. And in four seconds, what? Well, there you go, it was messy output. And then the next one is taken in. We got two in the buffer. If I call this whole room down, these guys won't rot, but I don't think it matters if they're rotten, right? I don't think it makes any difference. I'd just chill it anyway. And, and the simple reason for that is, of course, insects can spawn anywhere uh, until you get to minus 17, which I believe completely stops insect spawning in we had it set before to minus 14 because that lowers the chance to such a point of irrelevancy where we never actually saw an insect at all it could could happen in theory um yeah you know what i might chill this entire room out then and let's put like a door ideally we want to limit the amount of people who can actually come in here because it's full of corpses and turns out for some reason cowards don't like that we're all the embrasures themselves built so we got this one done one two three four went on this one and this one so i've kind of positioned them in areas where it's kind of hard for us to get to say for example before where they were taking cover down here behind the geothermal generator behind that one far enough away where we can't hit them but so they can't use them against us the exception might be this one but i thought that's pretty good positioning seeing as we normally stand up here anyway and it can shoot across the pond you know relatively unchallenged there these things have a massive range too not a massive range but they have a very very good range oh okay so we got psychic drone and the sun is blocked now i think now's the time we we, we kill the mechanoids right i think now's the time we just kind of say hey I'm, I'm i'm done with this shit because these guys are very menacing how, how are we doing on the turret front we got the first one being built is that all i've given you people days oh that's a lot better okay we got three built we've got one there this one is like ready to be built right oh three out of six what about you Okay, I'll hold on a little bit longer, but I'm worried that if we get another raid stacking up too, we could wait until we get a raid and then wake the mechanoids up. But, I mean, with absolutely no crops growing right now, we're relying on fishing, which is just fucking horrible. I suppose it gives these people something to do. Finally, we are ready. We are ready to take on a mech hive that's arguably smaller than all the other mech hives we've taken on, but I've decided to over-prepare. Okay, well, there's no such thing as over-preparing in this situation, given that we've been absolutely fucking wiped out on occasion. Give me my mechanoids. Give me my mechanoids. Boom. Look at this. Uh, you? What the hell are you doing? Oh, you're already controlling. Robot child? Magnolia. Shizzlebot. Dusty. Draft up. And line up. Uh, so Ice Wolf is so bad at shooting. Uh, grand total of 0.4 shooting skill. I've decided to give Ice Wolf an EMP. And I think we'll just send Ice Wolf like down here to go and EMP any of the melee characters. They've got a decent chance to hit given that it's AoE. You guys? Godspeed. Godspeed, little mechanoids. Oh, the psychic drone is ending too. Well, that's pretty nice. Oh! Why? What happened? Did someone fire something? One of the mechanoids fire something? Oh, you shit. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Bring him over here. Bring him over here. 
The rockets are away. The rockets are away. We've got that going for us. Okay, come up here then. Come up here. Right, you three. Get get behind some cover. Oh, you know what? Oh, what a bad miss. Okay, the siege begins. This is good. This is good. Devastator snipers are away. I, I don't really know there's much else I can do here besides just let them fight. Why don't we bring you around the corner here? Have three mechanoids basically ready to pounce behind some semblance of cover. Scythe is getting ripped apart. Good shit. This is chaos. This is this is absolute chaos. Uh, let's spread these guys out a little bit more, can we? I don't know what their kind of maximum limit is, though, so we've got to be a little bit careful with that. Uh, what can you fire at? Do we just kind of get you to shoot anything? I want you killing the other siege breakers, if possible. Okay, other siege breaker. Oh, Bozo's gone. Poor little Bozo. What a magnificent fight they put up with, though, huh? Come on, boys. I need that other siege breaker popped if you can. Hauling bots? You sons of bitches. Go, go fucking home. Fucking carpenters. I hate them. Kill them. Kill them dead. Oh, Beelzebub's gone. One of our siege breakers. How are they doing, by the way? They did some good damage, but unfortunately not really what we're after there. I've got the sniper squad picking off the centipedes as much as we can. That bloody fucking carpenter. I mean, it gives these guys something to do because they, they haven't really got much to shoot at otherwise. Okay, the other rocket launchers are coming into play now. Oh, they did just get popped there though. Oh, Christ, the other siege breaker hit there. This is like full on war. This is full on all out war. And I think I kind of like it. Okay, so he's gone. We've got three phalanx up there. Okay, and how are we looking up here? We've got a centipede and two siege... I mean, the siege breaks I can't do anything about. Uh, we've got three centipedes kicking out, but that one's the one we've been focusing on. It's still only 50%. That's fucking hell. Okay, hit another 35 there. I mean, the chance of them hitting in the rain, in the dark, because the sun's blocked, and him being quite far away is relatively low, I think. It's, it's fair to say. Oh, my God. The shield soaked it, though. My God, the shield soaked it entirely. Holy crap. Right, so what have we got going on over here? They're shooting one another more than they're actually shooting us at this point because they're going for, like, weird shit. Like, these spotlights that just don't matter. They provided this incredible distraction and they're just killing one another in the meantime. I think Sniper's all in. I think Sniper's all... What other Snipers have we got here? Uh, Sniper. Antimatter Sniper, that'll do. Charge Sniper, if we've got any, sure thing. Laser Sniper, same story. None. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well, well, I tried. Okay, here they come. So here's the plan. We're going to move the snipers northwards. And we're going to spread these guys out along the wall a bit more. Trying to avoid some of that, that centipede fire coming in. And that. Yeah, and that too, funnily enough. Mondobot's got a pretty good range on his gun. So let's spread him out a bit more. Let's bring you down. Let's bring you across. Okay, here we go. Oh, you know what? Let's bring you south a bit more then, huh? Good shit. We can actually hit them now. Holy shit, the fire we can lay down with this, though, is absolutely insane. What are you even shooting at? The Siege Breaker? Oh, can they just hit it from there? Three of them can hit. He can't. Well, let's move you over then, little Shuttlebot. Okay, can you hit now? Oh, my God, it just pinged right off him. Did you see that? Fuck me. Um, we'll probably have to move Ice Wolf in at some point then to get some extra damage going with that one. Where is Ice Wolf? Let's bring him up here. Can you hit with the MP launcher? You know what? They bloody can. They absolutely can. Come on, Ice Wolf. One stunned. Bring him down. Bring him down. This is sweaty remod now. No pissing around. Oh, the rocket launcher's coming in clutch. Kill, kill, kill. Please, please, please. Take him down. These phalanx are way too strong. Good shit, good shit. Nice work. Take out the fireworm too. This is incredible. This is actually... This, this, is, this is art. This is artwork. One centipede down. Come on, come on. 28%. God damn, I have no idea what's going on with the siege break. Because all I see is the occasional big explosion, shields popping, and these guys just... Oh. <laughs> what is it up to? 49% after that much shooting. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, move in, move in, move in. Let's, let's take out the rest. Oh! Shit, the shields weren't completely recharged that time. But you know what? They're doing okay. They're actually doing fine. So we got a pikeman. Which will probably just die from our running and gunning. And what have we got in terms of turrets? Oh, I didn't actually consider the fact that they probably have some big old turrets left, huh? Getting his cover. Oh, Ice Wolf, I'm so sorry. Oh, I was hoping we get a good shot there, if nothing else. Sorcerer's broken. Okay, let's keep running behind cover. Take out what we can. 
We have to take that siege breaker down. That's why I'm kind of rushing them in here. They've done it. They've done it. They've done it. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. You guys, get out of here. I want, I want those guys home. No, no, no. Fucking go home. Then eat your meals. Let's bring the sniper squad up to like here. Because the... actually, let's bring them here. Because they've got a clear shot there and they can hit those turrets without the turrets probably hitting them back. Ice Wolf, actually fucking leave though, pal. Oh my god, I thought it was another raid coming in. What what damage have we taken overall then? Uh, We've got a gunshot. Your kidney was destroyed before. Your arm was destroyed before. I think we just took that whole thing without taking any damage. Nose was annihilated. That was... Yeah, we, we took that whole thing without losing a single person. I mean, it wasn't that massive, I will admit, but it was it was pretty well handled, I think. Now, these guys can stand over here and hopefully just pick apart the turrets. Yeah, look, they can hit it from there. Where's one gone? Nice. That's another one of the assemblers down. I, that one, we're going to have to be very, very careful about how we approach. Um, I stick them like, like generally just kind of around this rock. What a hit. Wow. And it's just the actual building itself to do now. Oh, no, wait, there's something else. What have I missed? Oh, shit, my bad. Well, I mean, it won't really matter too much. Let's get you behind some cover. What a shot. And finally. He's actually done it. An encounter without somebody getting horribly murdered. Is that your best? Randy Random losing his fun? Is that your best, you big bitch? No, don't tell him I said that, please. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my people. <laughs> well, I know when to quit when I'm ahead. Thank you all for watching. Let's leave that there for today. I've got to update the Patreon list pretty significantly because I've had a lot of people message me over the past couple of days. Uh, so I will get that done ready for tomorrow. So apologies for the delay, but with all the crap that's been happening recently, I haven't been able to stay on top of it. But things are things are starting to chill out a little bit now. I actually got my PC working with a, with a half-decent microphone, so we should be good. Thank you in the meantime to the incredible Gurren, Thickcrack62, Sweetsea, Icewolf, Rathew, Chihuahua, Levi, Galupo Fruit Hag, Slippinips, Sideshow C, Mythomatic, Revan, and Hwalg for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Big thank you to you guys, and a thank you as well to Bucky, Lanigan, Dragon Ryan 13, Anna Aurora, Nyanka, Atreus Sen, Lady Cerulean, Mountain Kadalbe, Lanath, Kipos, Stormcrower, Nox Immortalis, and everyone else over at Patreon as well. That was that was professional. Today was professional Rimworld, and I'm never gonna do it again.